hello everyone so in this video i will show you that how you can use this muscle tool for performing multiple sequence alignment so in order to use this muscle tool just open your browser and search for the software that is muscle ebi ebi stand for european bioinformatic institute because it is a tool of this ebi so the first website which start with www.ebi.ac.uk so just click this website now this is the home page of this muscle tool and here first of all uh, let me clear that this muscle it stand for multiple sequence comparison by log expectation so this is the full form of this muscle and it's a very important tool which is used for performing multiple sequence alignment now how you can perform multiple sequence alignment so for this you will need sequences you should have more than two sequences in order to perform multiple sequence alignment for just instant i have just already downloaded some sequences of you can say nucleotide sequences so these are five sequences which i just downloaded how you can download sequences from ncbi so for that i have a separate video you can see that the link will be in the description so after downloading your sequences or the sequences you have so just select your sequences and copy your i'm just using five sequences you can use as much as sequence you can but you should use more than two sequences for multiple sequence alignment now move back to this muscle software or tool just paste your sequences here you can also upload the same file means if you do not want to copy and paste just choose your file which contain the sequences under this choose file section and the second step that is set your parameters here you have to choose the output format so here are many format like cluster w pearson fasta html so it's up to you in which format you want your result like for this instance i am just choosing cluster w output format under more option there are some more specific option which are specifically used for research purpose but this by default options are sufficient for most of time now under this section submit your job there is a point that is be notified by email if you click here now you can give your email under email section if you will give your email so this tool will send you the email which contain the link of your results because sometime it takes time so you can just give your email and be relax once the result will be there so link will be sent to your email under the title section you can choose the title which you want to use for this particular job so for this time i'm just unchecking it now just pasting your sequence choosing the output output format now just finally click on this submit option as you click now you will see that processing has been started it will take some time now the job id has been generated by the system which you can see here so this is the job id which is generated by the system itself now there are certain instructions for you which you can read for yourself now the results are here how to interpret these result so there are certain tabs like alignment result summary phylogenetic tree so first i will discuss about this alignment tab under this section so this is the multiple sequence alignment of your sequences so i have just used five sequences so these are the five sequences so i am zooming for you now it will be more clear to you here these are the five sequences that is sequence 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is the accession number of sequence 1 accession number of second sequence and so on so this information is about the you can say sequences this is the multiple sequence alignment result how to interpret them so here these stars they represent the conserved sequence means where the star is there so it means in all five sequences same nucleotide base is there like for example in this instance here you can notice that t so t is present in all of the five sequences so it means it's a conserve reason similarly here in this case this four star so now you can clearly see here this triple t and g 
so this is a conserved region because it is present in all of the five sequences so means star region are the conserved region while where star is not there so it means there are one or more nucleotide is different in one or other uh, you can say nucleotide sequence these dashes they represent gaps because the software did not find any nucleotide corresponding to these nucleotide in other sequences so these dashes means the gap star means conserve so by scrolling down you will find the result of your multiple sequence alignment so under alignment tab you can see your alignment result now under this result summary tab if you click here here you will find the result summary now in under the result summary you can see here under input section here these are the input sequences if you click here you will see the sequences which you just gave to the tool for performing multiple sequence alignment so these are the those input sequences under output tool it will show you the output under alignment in the cluster format so it will show you the alignment results and now comes to this phylogenetic tree option so if you click here now the tool will generate phylogenetic tree for you now as you can clearly see this is the phylogenetic tree of your five sequences which i just gave to the tool so these are the accession number as i told and this information is about the sequences so these are five sequences so this is the cladogram or phylogenetic tree generated according to their you can say alignment result you can see this tree you can also download this tree data by under this download phylogenetic tree data section if you want to download this tree data so by using this muscle tool you can either perform multiple alignment and also make the phylogenetic tree although there are certain other options you can say other tools which can be used for making phylogenetic tree but this muscle can also be used and under alignment section you will see the alignment result so this is all about that how you can use this muscle tool for performing the multiple sequence alignment of your sequences so that's all about this muscle tool so thank you very much guys see you in the next video